With its unique story and lovable cast of characters, few science fiction features from the 1980s are as memorable as Back to the Future. One of the film's co-stars, Claudia Grace Wells, was a standout, but her profile dropped significantly in the years following the film's release. Here's what she's been up to since. The first act of Marty McFly's time-traveling adventure introduces us to the zany residents of Hill Valley, California, the 1985 version. Aside from getting viewers acquainted with Doc Brown, Marty's eccentric father George and the highly punchable Biff Tannen, the first installment of Back to the Future offered the initial introduction to Jennifer Jane Parker, Marty's girlfriend and future wife, a quintessential 1980s dream girl. Does your mom know about tomorrow night? Oh, get out of town. My mom thinks I'm going camping with the guys. Although the role of Jennifer Parker will be played and voiced by several other notable actresses throughout the life of the franchise, including Elizabeth Shue, who took over love interest duties in the sequel, any fan of Back to the Future will tell you that the real Jennifer Parker was, and always will be, Claudia Grace Wells. Wells only played the part in the original Back to the Future, but she left a mark on the character that endures to this day. Unsurprisingly, this Reagan-era starlet remains as radiant as ever, and she's actually been up to some pretty interesting things since starring in an iconic piece of American cinema. Although Wells was born in Malaysia, she grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area and moved to Los Angeles as a young teen, where she immediately became interested in acting. She graduated from Beverly Hills High School and soon after started appearing on a number of popular TV series of the time. Wells landed guest spots on Family and Strike Force, plus a five-episode arc on Herbie, The Love Bug, just to name a few. Wells' Girl Next Door appeal served her well in the early years of her career, and as the TV roles continued to pour in, she finally got a big break. But Wells almost had to bail on Back to the Future because a pilot she had recently joined for ABC got picked up, and she was contractually obligated to follow through on the shoot. The early days of Back to the Future's production featured a bizarro world version of the cast we know and love today. Eric Stoltz played the role of Marty McFly and the officers Melora Hardin was cast opposite him in the role of Jennifer. By the time Wells was done shooting her pilot, director Robert Zemeckis had put a halt on filming Back to the Future and recast a young up-and-comer named Michael J. Fox in the leading role. With her calendar clear, Wells stepped in to claim the part she had originally been handed, and the rest is history. Back to the Future launched Wells to the heights of teen stardom, and she seemed poised to conquer the industry. She appeared on one more major 1986 project, a short-lived television adaptation of Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and then promptly disappeared from the limelight. It was a stunning vanishing act, one hardly explained away by the cancelled series. So where did she go? It's rare for a young star with an entire career ahead of her to simply walk away, but Wells made her premature exit for a noble cause. Shortly after the release of Back to the Future and the subsequent cancellation of Fast Times, her mother was diagnosed with cancer. Wells immediately puts her career on hold and returned home to care for her ailing parent throughout the treatment process. Wells' mother was intimately involved in her career, even serving in an official capacity as her manager. As Wells told People for a 2015 profile, I just didn't have it in me to do anything but deal with the stress and the emotions that were going on as a result of my mom being in the process of dying. I just wasn't in a place to be able to think about my career or the film or anything other than what I was doing with my own life. Life was very, very difficult and stressful. As for how she felt about Elizabeth Shue slipping into the role she made famous, Wells said, When I found out she was cast, I was actually very flattered and honored because I think she's an amazing actress. And funny enough, the lead role in Adventures in Babysitting was between her, me, and Phoebe Cates. I have nothing but respect and praise for her, and I still have not met her. Sadly, Wells' mother did indeed succumb to her disease, and the loss upended Wells' life to the point that she felt unable to return to acting for the better part of a decade. Fortunately, that isn't where Claudia Wells' story ends. In 1994, Wells took her talents to the San Fernando Valley opening a high-end menswear shop in Studio City called Armani Wells. With Wells serving in the dual capacity of owner and manager, Armani Wells flourished. In service for almost 30 years, Armani Wells' success proves that its owner is much more than just a pretty face. Wells told People, I opened it partially because I wanted a financial base, so I could go back to acting on my terms, where if a role isn't right or if it's not a project I want to do, I could say no. I wouldn't be desperate or hungry. And go back to acting she did. In 1996, Wells dipped her toe into the acting pond by starring in the indie film Still Waters Burn. After a long hiatus, she appeared in the 2011 low-budget sci-fi disaster film Alien Armageddon. Since then, Wells has worked on and off, appearing on the hit CBS drama The Mentalist the same year, and even reprising the role of Jennifer Parker in a tie-in video game from 2015. Jennifer is um, a slightly mean version of her sweet self. 
Wells doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon either. Her next film is the action title Quinn, and she has three more follow-up projects in pre-production or early development, as of the making of this video. Once the industry gets back on its feet, we're sure we'll be seeing plenty of Marty McFly's original muse on the silver screen. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.